On this week's Silver Screen Report, we are coming to you live from the South Carolina State Fair. Good afternoon, Dutch Fork. Today is Friday, October 19th, and your Silver Screen Report starts now. Rides are an important feature of the fair. While some people say they enjoy the thrill, others say they are scared. Kylie Fine has the story. Along with games, food, and crowds of people, rides are an essential element to the state fair. I think they are faster. While there are many different fair rides, everyone has their favorite. Ring of Fire. Their ride is crazy fast right there. The the gravity ride. Oh, that's what it was. The gravity ride. Riders say that adrenaline, speed, and amusement are important in determining their favorite. Um, because it's not too crazy, but it's still kind of gets my, my heart racing. Um, because I like how it's so fast, and then you never expect like when it turns away. I don't know. It's just fun. This has been Kylie Fine with your Silver Screen Report. For this week's Kids in the Hall, we asked students about their favorite part of the fair. I just enjoyed the food, to be truthful, and all the rides. Like the rides, the corn dogs, and also like the shirts that I got. Um, my favorite thing about the fair is like all the lights after sunset and I've seen a ton of fairs. I like the food at the fair. I like the elephant ears and the fries. The fries with salt on them. Fryers sizzled and mouths drooled at this year's South Carolina State Fair. Three of our silver screeners offer their opinions on some of the iconic treats. So we're starting off with some fries. The classic fair food. Classic food in general. You can't really beat fries as an appetizer. They came freshly fried. They were super hot whenever we got them. You know, they fry them right in front of you. And they're what you would expect. They're, they're nice and greasy like a fair fry should be. They didn't really come seasoned. You had to season them yourself. But they did have a spiced salt. And the spiced salt tastes delicious on these. It's absolutely fantastic. I give them a rating probably about three out of five. So now, onto the lemonade. And this lemonade, it's, it's your standard strawberry lemonade. It's what you need on a hot day like this. It's hot outside and you just want an ice cold lemonade. And this, it doesn't have that really lemony taste, but it definitely has that strong strawberry taste with real strawberries. And it's just absolutely delicious. I'd give this a five out of five. You know, it's just the classic drink you gotta get at the fair. This isn't your average fast food hot dog. It may taste the same, but there's a lot more dog here. The bun is a little dry, which I didn't like. Um, and the hot dog, the hot dog was pretty good. Um, you're probably gonna wanna add more condiments to it to make it taste better. It's just kind of plain when you order it on its own. But overall, it's pretty good. I would probably rate it four out of five stars since it's just a classic fair food. To the sweet foods, I have here some cotton candy. It's, I feel like it's a staple for the fair. Everybody gets it, it's pretty popular. Pretty nice taste, it's like a rough texture, but it's a sweet type of taste, and I feel like it's a good price for its size. This has been Darren Maharaj and Maddie McCormick and Todd Whittington with their Silver Screen Report at the South Carolina State Fair. The SAT word of the week is surfeit, a noun meaning overabundant supply or indulgence. Games and entertainment are a key part of the fair. Here is Katie Rojas with more. The games and entertainment because it is enjoyable to play with friends or family. However, some find them too difficult. But some of them are a little bit iffy in terms of price and how they actually do work. But overall, some of them are good, yeah. The game is probably this one actually because he's really funny, the workers, he's really funny and it just builds up on and on. It costs a lot of money but it's for fun. Many fairgoers enjoy playing games to test their skill or to win prizes. Some of them I do think cost too much because an example would be at the fair there is a ball game. You, get, you have to smash plates and it's $5 for two balls and you have to smash two plates with those two balls. If not then 
you basically get nothing. So some of them are a little bit overpriced. This has been Katie Rojas with your Silver Screen Report. With the opening of the fair, new art from Creative Minds of South Carolina have been revealed. Ryan Brebham has a story. Fairgoers interested in art have been heading to the canty to observe award-winning art by artists of South Carolina. They're inspiring. It gives you, you know, has different emotions. You know, it depends on what the art is. So I enjoy it. So it, it gives different levels of emotion. So I enjoy it. I feel peaceful and I can spend a lot of time in the art and feel feel comfortable and feel great by myself, yeah. People in South Carolina enjoy the diversity that comes from the art. Uh, from I was little, I, I like job by myself. Uh, it's become my hobby. You know, the different types of uh, art that it comes out with. I mean, they, my daughter does a lot of art projects. I just like the variety of different things that comes up with it. And art for anyone who has an interest in having different perspectives. People are often connected to art for many different reasons. I mean, they, my daughter does a lot of art projects. And my other daughter's up in uh, Washington State. She does a lot of art projects, too. I'm the art teacher, yeah in Chinese school. This is my six year teaching art, but I've been involved in the creation of art since probably 10th grade. But what inspired me was my high school art teacher, Ms. Collins. This has been Ryan Brad with your Silver Screen Report. From bunnies to raptors, the animals of the state fair are as fun as they are varied. Max Franks met these furry performers. At the state fair, there is a variety of animals, some from the prairie, some from the jungle, and some from the Cretaceous period. My favorite dinosaur is the Stethosaurus that's behind me. The reason why I like it is because it did a lot of things and also it's very interesting. I just like animals. My favorite dinosaur here is the Stegosaurus. They're one of the first vegetarians on the planet and I think that's cool. With all the dinosaurs at the fair, let's not forget about their closest relatives plus all the other barnyard animals. Well, of course, the pigs is my favorite because that's what I do. But then, you know, they have the dairy cows across the road over there. They have the barn, poultry barn. It's got all kinds of different birds and, and those things in it. Favorite animal would probably have to be the bunnies. I think they're very adorable and they're very soft. I like the ducks. They're cute, they're interesting. Ducks are, well, geese, ducks, kind of the same thing. You see them all around ponds and different things, and it's just interesting to watch. No matter if the dinosaurs, chickens, or kangaroos are your favorite, the importance of the animals at the fair should not go understated. I think it shows uh, us as people that there are other cultures and other species other than humanity. People that, uh, species that came before us and species that'll probably be here after us. It shows us uh, just how big the world is. It's an opportunity for the kids to have a project that they work with throughout the year and they learn about the responsibility of animals and taking care of them. They wanted to find something that the children will learn from and as you already know, being in education, the, when they start learning patterns for learning, then it continues on into other areas. And so that's what they're doing here. They're learning about dinosaurs. They're learning about a lot of history. This has been Max Franks with your Silver Screen Report. This weekend is your last chance to attend the South Carolina State Fair. The gates close at Sunday, 8 p.m. and rides close at 10. In school related announcements, the Yoga and Meditation Club meets on Wednesdays in room 254 during Fox Focus. See Lori Rodney in room 258 for more information. There will be an Alive at 25 class next Wednesday from 4 until 8.30 p.m. in room 230. Alive at 25 certification is required to get a DFHS parking pass. The drama department will present The Legend of Sleepy Hollow next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the auditorium. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for students. The homecoming dance is tomorrow night from 7.30 until 10.30 p.m. at the Brooklyn Baptist Convention Center. Photo ID is required for admission. Now here's Luke with more. Thanks, Lydia. Attention seniors, Jocelyn's will be here Monday from 9.30 until 3 to take orders, deposits for caps, gowns, and other graduation supplies. Visit the front lobby during your study hall or Fox Focus time. Attention underclassmen, makeup pictures for yearbook will be taking place in the auditorium all day next day. Go during your study hall or Fox Focus time. Seniors, your makeup pictures will be next month.
The boys basketball team will be hosting a pancake breakfast next Saturday at Fats Cafe on Broad River Road. Tickets are $10 for adults and $6 for children. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.